Greetings lovelies! Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another how-to recipe. Today I'll show you how to make this. Ta -da! And this is dongle. Ding ding ding. This is hanami dongle, so it's in these cute spring-like colors. And this is an dongle, which is just plain dongle that's covered with onko paste, which is red bean paste. So for those of you unfamiliar with dongle, dongle are little Japanese sweets. And they're made out of pounded sticky rice. So let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you what I did. Okay, begin by emptying 250 grams of the dango mix, which is the entire bag, to a bowl. And then add 200 cc's, or 200 grams, of hot water. And then mix this all together. At first it's pretty shaggy, but it'll soon come together. And you'll want to keep kneading this dough until it's nice and supple and smooth. If you're going to make two types of dango, divide the dough in half. And keep the unused portion covered with a damp paper towel so it doesn't dry out. Take one half and divide it into half again, and then we're going to color a quarter of the dough with one drop of red food coloring to make pink, and one drop of green food coloring to the other quarter to make green. Knead this really well till the color is nice and consistent. Roll the dough out into a nice snake, and then use a butter knife and cut them into little segments. I initially did 14 pieces, but I ended up combining them together because I thought they were too small, so I got seven balls. Once the pink and green dongle are finished, you can go ahead and cover them with a damp paper towel, and then take the rest of your white dough, roll it out into a cylinder again, divide it in half, and then cut it into seven pieces. Once the pieces have been formed into balls, then you're ready to cook them. What are you doing? Making another snail. Nice. To add the dongle to some rapidly boiling water, while they're cooking, you might want to give them a little bit of a stir so they don't stick to the bottom. And when they come to the surface, about three or four minutes, then scoop the dongle out and put them in a bowl of cold water and allow them to cool. Next, skewer the cool dongle balls onto a skewer, three to a stick. I'm using some store-bought uncle paste called Koshan. It's nice and smoothly textured. Feel free to use whatever kind you like. And then just spread it onto your dongle balls and you're ready to serve. As you saw in the video, I used this dongle mix, which made it really, really easy. If you can't find this dongle mix around where you live, you might want to check out my friends Cooking with Dog or Runny Runny 999. They both have recipes on how to make dongle and they don't use a mix, so maybe they can help you out. So let's try the hanami dongle first. Hanami is the beginning of spring. Hana means flower. Mi means like viewing or watching. So it's a time of year where the cherry blossoms bloom or sakura. It's a wonderful time of year because everyone picnics beneath the flowering trees. Itadakimasu. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Mm. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of dango. It doesn't have that much of a flavor. If you guys use, end up using this mix and you want to make these, I suggest you add some sugar. I didn't add any sugar. This needs some sugar. All it tastes like is rice. <laughs> it has a really delightful texture though. This one's the on dango. Mm -hmm. and indeed much better flavor. If you're not a fan of anko though, I don't think you'll like this because the anko is the only flavoring in here, which is this red bean paste that has been ground and sweetened with sugar. I like it. It tastes very natural and sweet and it goes actually quite well with the chewy rice dango dumpling. So I found this at H Mart, which is a local Korean Japanese grocer, and it was about $5, I think. I think you can also order this online. I should also mention that I've done a few candy kits that involve dango, and I've explained them before, so I'll put those links down below. Here's another update. I have another channel. I'll be posting kid crafts and some everyday recipes there as well. So if you're interested, click to subscribe. Oh, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, then go ahead and do so, because then you'll never miss a video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. Indeed, very strong smell of five spice, which is a combination of five different spices, including star anise. Then comes the fun part. Just pour in your glue mixture into your borax solution, and you'll start making slime.